Hello everyone, this tutorial is going to be about adding taxonomies and changing your own ones. Uh, it's intended for my template on theme forest and uh, modern hosting, but you may be able to get something out of it anyway if you don't have it. So first thing you're going to need to do is, the files you're going to have to open are get taxonomies, get taxonomy packs, um, plans page 4, I'll do as an example, but if you're using them all, you'll have to do them all. And finally, in functions, taxonomies. So, first thing to do is uh, taxonomies PHP. Copy the last line here, register taxonomy. And we're just going to add a new one. So, change the text here. I'll be making example new as you know mine change the text here and save now if you go and preview in your back end there should be a new taxonomy called example new so for this example plan I'm gonna add a hello world category and uh, select that for this as part of the example new save that Next thing to do is to get taxonomies.php. I'll show you what this refers to. Get taxonomies refers to this area here, the pink box on the featured slider. So, to show you what to do, copy the last line, well, the reseller line, paste. Change reseller to example as the variable name and change reseller access to example new, which is the name of the taxonomy we just created. See here, save that. Copy one of the if statements. See, you want it to be the fourth one down as standard copy the third one, paste it straight after, change the variable to the one you just typed, so it's example, and then output example. If you preview this, we have fourth one down, hello world, because that's the text. If you want to have, you know, writing after the category, which is within the taxonomy, you add it afterwards like here so last columns to say it says hi save that if we refresh it says hello world says hi that's refers to say you had a category core 20 gigabyte disk space is the second part obviously so that's adding it to the pink slider I should point out here if you want to use uh, if you want to you know if the taxonomy you're adding is a uh, you know simple yes or no like 24/7 support does it have 24/7 support or not copy this one down here and change the variable name here and then in this instance it's saying is you know this variable name this taxonomy empty if so if not then display the text so if not if it is empty it won't bother showing anything I'll skip on to the next one moving on get taxonomies packs refers to this area here these five if you'll see it has I less than five so for this one same sort of thing if we copy the the line we just created, the example one here, you can paste it in after the reseller. Next thing, let's add the one, two, three, let's let it add it as the fourth one again. So copy, paste, change add ons to example, change it here and here.
you'll see here it's on the fourth one down on the one that does actually exist then but in the ones that doesn't exist it's ignored and it's moved on to the next one so that's how that works the final thing to do is for the plans page so in this example I'll go over the four columns one so it's the same sort of thing for the model though so we open up plans page four and scroll down to scroll down to you see these table rows for this one I'll copy add on domains again paste straight below change the text which is going to be the label on the left side to example new and finally let's see change the variable to example change this part to example new same thing as before then change the add-on again to example here we see the example new row has been added it's not outputting though so I've obviously typed something wrong uh, example news I've typed and it shows up on the one that's which exists on that's for things like 100 gigabyte is for the numbers but if you want to do the tick or the cross I'll sh quickly show you that so if you scroll down even more let's copy the reseller access rule first thing should really delete the ones we just created because we'll use the same variable names so try and back up just delete that scroll down copy paste to reseller change the example new reseller to example and then change reseller to example here this is the if statement which checks if it's empty or not if it's if it is empty it will show a cross if it's not empty it will show a tick so just simply change that there and should have example new cross tick cross cross one thing you'll notice is you see the color is the same here that is hard coded so see how it's zebra 1 you're gonna to have to change this to zebra 2 to alternate and then change all the ones that follow so change zebra 2 to zero 1 obviously that's gonna be a problem because they're background but that's how you do it it's not too difficult I'm trying to think if there's anything more, but I don't think there is. If you have any more problems, uh, shoot me an email or drop a comment on the drop a comment on the website. I guess that should be it, though. Thanks for watching.